Hello and welcome to this CodeWind tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to look at the CodeWind Node.js profiler. The first thing you want to do is head over to the VS Code Marketplace and install the CodeWind Node.js profiler extension. The next thing we want to do is create a Node.js project so we can run our load against it. Once the project has been created and it is running, we want to add it to our workspace. To do this, right click on the project and select Add Project to Workspace. Now you can see the project files, we want to go to the CodeWind endpoint. To find it, it is under Server, Roots, CodeWind.js. In here, we'll find some boilerplate code. At the moment, it doesn't do a lot, but we're going to edit this and create a bottleneck so that we can see some clear performance data. Now the code has been written, we'll head over to a browser and check the CodeWind endpoint is working. From here, we now want to run some load against this application. We'll do this by going to the performance dashboard. We'll edit the load test configuration to hit the CodeWind endpoint, save the configuration, and then run the load test to see our data. As you can see, we've now got our results back. Now head back over to our application. In the bottom right corner, we're going to turn profiling on. As you can see, the functions are highlighted. By hovering over them, you can see more information about each function and how much time has been spent in each one. Thanks for watching this tutorial, and to find out more information, visit codewind.dev or tweet us at Eclipse Codewind.